Spooning Country with iGeeks Vlog and I'm back with another episode of iGeeks Vlog with some exciting stuff. Yes, this is really exciting stuff. Uh, basically, privacy is really important for many people, right? Uh, it would be important for you, right? You're watching this content right away here because privacy is important to you yourself. So guys, uh, basically you would obviously don't like that anyone would access your personal data onto your devices like your iPhone or your or basically your children's uh, using your personal files or uh, accessing your personal data or what if they use open Skype and make a call to someone over there. It's quite strange and really uh, it's uh, and it's really uncomfortable. You feel really uncomfortable when such happens. So guys, there's always any bit of time to get around to this video. Let's get started. Alright so guys, the very first step you need to take place in order to hide your stock or non-stock applications is just go ahead and hit over settings. Uh, go into basically general and once you're there in general scroll all the way down until you see restrictions You need to basically go ahead and enable restrictions in order to hide your application So basically for this tutorial, I would set a basic password that could be one two three four That's it. I have enabled restrictions onto my device now basically in order to very first thing What we will take a look at is how to hide the stock applications so the stock applications you can see at the very top we get the stock application that is safari camera facetime siri and dictation airdrop and carplay down we scroll all the way and you get some other options that is itunes store uh, apple music content uh, itunes ibox the store podcast installing applications deleting apps and app purchases so basically if you want to disable any of these you can go ahead and disable basically i would like to disable safari over here uh camera okay so it says that if you disable camera facetime would be uh, disabled that's it that's perfectly fine also i would uh, don't like access to itunes store that's it so uh, let's check the, our home screen oh boom you see i got new safari uh, basically you can see this was my previous screen and now you can see that I got nothing over here uh, Basically if I go into control center, you see I got no camera because I have disabled camera So guys, that's quite amazing you could uh, like this would be really helpful for you guys to hide your uh, Certain stock applications when you reach home or you give your device to someone else So guys now moving ahead to hide the non-stock applications how to do that again go and hit over restrictions enter your password or for restrictions basically and that's it you would have and all the way once you we, we got some access to these uh, stock applications up there right there now you need to scroll all the way down and you get this option under allowed content applications and uh, here basically you get option that how from along the age category you want to disable apps you want to allow all the application or you don't want to allow any third party application or which is a non-stock application that's it we have made the changes over here and again if I go on to my home screen you see I got no third party or non-stock application onto my device again you might be thinking that I had deleted all those so I'll just go ahead and demonstrate to you that uh, I will enable applications over here again uh, allow all the applications go to my home screen and you can see I got all my third party or non-stock applications onto my device and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to iGeeks Vlog, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Till the time, peace.